Hello and welcome back to Lorefent Gaming Plays Bars Gate 3. I'm your host, Lorefent, in this Bars Gate 3 PC walkthrough video, we're finally going ahead and face off against Kazador. Yes, it is a boss fight time at request rage style chorus. And finally, Asteron's ritual choice. I'm going to make a very important choice for him with that. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Baldur's Gate 3 videos like this. Do not forget to hit the notification bell so be updated and more. I'm going to go ahead and go over the tactics right now. Here's the deal about this fight. You want necro damage once again, just like the Vauncia fight. That's very important. Kazdor is a high-level vampire. I should say vampire lord, more like it. You have three rounds to uh, defeat him or at least rescue Asteron. If uh, not... And then, of course, he'll uh, complete the ritual, he'll win, and that's that. You gotta make sure Asteron's rescue or he's gone for uh, good. Now, there's a few wrinkles uh, that is happening. First, you're gonna have to face off against werewolves, uh, I think undead caster, and bats that constantly coming in and out of the fight. Now, uh, if you do not uh, stand in the uh, circle, what will happen is, is unfortunately, you uh, guessed it. Um, the... Um, He'll all gain powers in those three rounds. So you got to make sure you close it off so this way he's weakened every time you do that interrupting the ritual. Now, good idea to use AoE spells. If you have any sunbeam spells or scrolls, abuse that. You have that nice mace from uh, Act 1 that's legendary with sunbeam, abuse that as uh, well. Now, a uh, good idea to rescue a steron right away so you don't have to worry much about the timer. Uh, try to do is get rid of the werewolves and such if uh, not... Go ahead and uh, definitely get rid of Kazador. Summons are recommended, especially the high-level ones. I'm summoning any as uh, much as I uh, can. You definitely want to keep your cool in this. Paladins are great in this fight due to the fact this vampire is weak to radiant damage. So abuse that as uh, well. If you have any uh, arrows of undead slaying with a Steron, abuse that as also. Keep your cool, do what I do, and you'll win this long and tough fight. Who stands before us? Is this truly our prodigal son? Hm? Do not slouch before me, boy. Have you no respect for yourself? Look at you. Crawling back after abandoning your family. You should be begging our forgiveness. Forgiveness? You've never forgiven anything. Every mistake, every slip was punished. I strove for perfection in all things, even those as imperfect as you. A pity you amounted to so little, despite my efforts. No! No. Fuck you. And fuck everything you've ever done to me! They told me you had changed. I dared not believe it. Oh, thankless child. Did I not bless you with our immortal gift? Did I not make you what you are? You son of a bitch. truly forgot my power. You truly thought our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you from killing me? Hmm? Oh, you are weak, my child. You are a small, pathetic little boy who never amounted to anything. <laughs> But today, you will finally do something worthwhile. You will burn, and I will ascend. I still have 
Let's light them up. For two centuries. Have I not suffered enough?
Let's get this over with. Casador is now defeated. Do not, I repeat, do not interact with the coffin yet until you make a save. Otherwise, you're going to have to go through the entire fight once again. That was fun. Yeah, Gale took some damage. I took about half damage. Uh, Steron was the hero in the fight. He got the killing uh, blow. Uh, that was a very good fight. I really uh, did like it. So I'm going to make an off-screen save. Then after that, I'm going to make my choice. Once that is done, I'm going to explain on what's going on. And uh, plus the uh, drop as uh, well. There we go. Let's go ahead and make a very important choice that does involve a steroid and also it will definitely complete his uh, personal quest. No, no, no healing sleep for you. Wake up! Get your hands off me, worm! Ha! <laughs> I'm not the one in the dirt. One last thrust. And I'll be free of you. I'll never have to fear you again. But if I finish the ritual you started, I'll never have to fear anyone. You think me a fool? That I would allow anyone to usurp me, speak the words, and ascend in my place? Hm? The runes I carved into your flesh bind you and all 7,000 souls to the ritual. Complete it, and those bearing the scars will be sacrificed, you included. You are simply a means to an end. I made you to be consumed. I am so much more than what you made me. I can do this, but I need your help. These people died years ago. Trust me on that. All that's left are feral spawn, desperate for blood. If we release them, how many people will they kill? Tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands. But if I complete the ritual, think of the power I'll have. With me by your side, we can, we can save the city. We can save ourselves. above enjoying this.
Is... Is it over? Is he... <laughs> yes. He's gone. What does that mean for us? It means you have a choice. You can hide here, living in the shadows like parasites. Or you could be more than what he made us to be. You can choose differently, of course. But the consequences are on your head. And what does it mean for them? <sighs> ah, now that is a question. Casador's staff controlled everything during the ritual. If it controls the cells too, you could decide their fate. Some sacrifices just aren't worth it. The poor wretches in the cells are innocent. They shouldn't have to suffer just because I... lured them here. someone to lead them. Take the tunnels into the Underdark. Find somewhere, well, not safe, but less perilous. What? No, we can't! Just try to keep them out of trouble. I think we're done here. Let's go. That's it. He's gone. After all these years, these centuries, it's really over. I'm glad you think so, because I'm not so sure. I just feel numb. What I've lost. <laughs> what I've gained. It's all so much. And God, all those spawn. Free in the Underdark. I need some time, I think. I... Just to let it all sink in. Let's just go. This place reeks of death, and I want to feel alive again. I had the uh, simple choice. Either have uh, Steron go through the ritual and kill thousands of innocent people and most likely be on top of the Monster Hunter's hunting list, attempt to take us down, or uh, don't do the ritual. Don't stoop down to Cazador's level. Well, guess what? I didn't stoop down to his level at all. And because of that, he frees some innocent, uh, not not innocent, but still he frees some vampire spawn from being killed. Yep, you heard me right. I play like a good person. So anyways, uh, because of that also, if I heard that um, a stare on here will uh, react more better to good choices. So uh, the staff, that is not bad at all. As for the short sword, it's one of the uh, best ones in the entire game for a rogue. That's why I have a stare on have that. And yeah, he's the one who did get the final blow. I was almost going to do a short on that, but I didn't want to spoil it. I mean, that fight was really good. That was one of the most fun fights ever. And if you all did notice that I had the daylight spell, I forgot to mention that. It'll be uh, definitely in the description. Daylight would uh, get rid of Cazador's mist form. I like to apologize for that ahead of time. I was going through the other uh, important tactics like staying in the circle and such. This was a very good uh, mechanic. It was like one of those ladder EverQuest raid ones and also... Uh, to a point like a World of Warcraft raid ones when you're going against certain uh, bosses where you had to, uh, you know, do what you have to do in order to survive. In other words, do their mechanics. Don't go off on your own thing. I'm just going to just zerg it and uh, win. Yeah, you're going to lose. 
I didn't really do that. Did what I did, and I won the day. Cazador is now dead. I am very happy. This definitely felt like an old school ra EverQuest raid boss after you kill it. So now the uh, Gur will be an ally with us. This is really good. We just got to report uh, into him. It's not going to be for this video. Now you're wondering, what's up with the Vault Key? Well, I think they're dropped from certain bosses. Or I should say certain story bosses. So, uh, for instance, I should say Vauncia, she had one. Now, uh, Casador does have one. So, this is all uh, good. I will have to do more research on the Vault Keys. I think it was in that one building I didn't go into, the Counting House. Because I wasn't ready for it yet. And I heard that's from the sewers, of course. Still, I uh, did. I won the uh, day. That was a very good uh, fight. So, when I do the episode with the uh, Vault Keys, yeah, I'll uh, explain about that. Let me uh, go ahead and uh, take care of this for a stare on before I actually uh, go ahead and do a nice recap for the uh, video. I really did enjoy the uh, fight. I absolutely did uh, love it. And I suggest uh, if you ever have a stare on your party or if you're playing as a stare on as a main character, do it. Oh, wow. This is more uh, clues. Oh, that is uh, very uh, good. So let me uh, skip ahead after this exploring. I didn't get anything else. I'm going to recap this uh, video. The uh, first thing I did was prep talk. Well, I did forget the daylight spell. Use that in a battle. Makes things a lot more easier so he doesn't abuse mist form. After I uh, did the prep talk, saw Casador glow and say, I'm going to do a vampire ascension. I'm going to become the ultimate vampire, blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? That didn't happen. We face off against Casador, free Asteron during the uh, process. After killing some more foes during the fight, Asteron got the killing blow. Once that was done, we wiped everything else out. After that, I made a faithful choice of not only freeing a stair run from the ritual and not stooping down to Kazador's level, we also freed the vampire spawn. Now they're in the Underdark. This is actually pretty good, though, because we have some allies in the Underdark in case there's uh, either a Baldur's Gate 3 expansion or better yet, Baldur's Gate 4. Once that was done, we looted everything out. We got ourselves a good staff. And a very nice short sword for a stair on. Yeah, so a stair on made out like a bandit big time. Once that was said and done, we got a vault key. I explained about that, and that's about it. In the next Baldur's Gate 3 PC walkthrough video, we're going to go ahead and end the day. Yes, we're going to end the day again because the next uh, goal we're going to do is the House of Hope. Yeah, we're going to storm that like crazy. This is it from my Baldur's Gate 3 PC walkthrough, Casador boss fight, and a Steron ritual choice video. This is Lorfent signing off. Thanks for watching, and have a great day or night. Do please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more classic and modern Dungeons and Dragons walkthroughs, builds, guides, and more just like this. If you like what you see, then uh, go ahead and pick my suggestion on the upper left-hand corner or YouTube suggestion on the bottom left-hand corner. I'm going to go ahead and relax in this nice chair.